So when the leaves begin to fall and the weather starts to get cold, I call it quits for fishing in the yes, canoe. It's getting cold, so I even pull the dock in. So now the real question is, what am I going to do all winter long? I suppose I'm going to be able to enjoy the lake still for quite a while. But when it freezes over, let me tell you, three feet of ice on this lake, the ice fishermen are out, not me. I'm going to be inside the house and I'm going to be watching movies. So I'll probably come into the house and spend a lot of the winter watching some great movies. Well, not if I want to watch Oprah. Oh, man. So now what am I going to do? Now, that's one argument that I don't want to get into. But I really want to spend some serious time to watch the next season of 24. Possibly the best TV series that has ever been on TV. So it looks to me like I'm going to have to take a move over and spend a little bit of time and use my portable DVD player. That's terrific. But I'm still going to have all that sound from the television set. What am I going to use? Well, I suppose I could use a wired headset. They usually sound pretty good. But every time you want to get up and move around, it's kind of a pain in the neck having the wires. Or I could use a different solution. Helium Digital has recently come out with a new stereo head headphone that also has a transmitter. And that transmitter will plug into any three and a half inch jack and will allow you to take into transmit via Bluetooth the audio over into the headset. These look pretty good and I thought that I would give them a try. So let's take a look at them. Let's see what's in the package and then let's give them a workout to see if in fact I can listen to 24 and enjoy hey everybody, my it's Jack Cook from Mobility Site and Experience Mobility. Today we're going to take a look at the Helium Digital stereo headphones that have an added feature. They have a transmitter that will allow you to attach the transmitter to any device that has a, a 3.5 millimeter uh, jack on it and doesn't have Bluetooth and you'll still be able to use uh, these Bluetooth stereo headphones. What's pretty cool about these, not only can you use them with your phone, and there's a, uh, a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see it on this, but there's a, there's a little nub right down here, which I doubt that you can see, but we'll, we'll pull them out in a second, uh, that has the uh, uh, microphone on it. And in theory, you'll be able to uh, be listening to music and doing all the stuff that you like to do uh, with, with a stereo headset, but you'll also be able to take phone calls with it too. It's, it's a pretty uh, pretty nice unit, relatively inexpensive, so we're going to see how well, uh, how well it works and uh, if it's a, a worthwhile endeavor. The package was pretty much uh, solidly put together, so I already pre-sliced it so I could open it up for you. Uh, on this particular headset, it's a Bluetooth 2.0. Uh, we have a charger that's included in it, it's a dual pairing support for your phone and your audio device. Uh, you can have incoming call, uh, we'll stop the music and then uh, you can answer your call and then it will return to the call. It has a built-in echo elimination. It only weighs 50 grams. Um, in theory it'll last around six to seven hours on a single charge. There is a headset volume control, a plus minus for the volume control. And if your device supports the AVRCP profile, uh, it has a forward and a next uh, on the track, so it's something that uh, will make using a particular, dev a particular device really kind of cool. So when we open it up, what we have is a, a manual, and on this particular manual, it's um, fairly long, fairly large. It appears, uh, oh, it has several languages, German, Dutch, Spanish, to start off with, but uh, it has an English manual, and the actual English manual is uh, two, four, uh, about six pages long. So, given the uh, the size of this manual, there are several languages that are uh, that are supported with this. And then we have a charger, very small uh, adapter. I don't know if you can uh, if you can see that, but we'll. Uh, it's a very very small adapter for plugging for AC charging. And let's pull out the device. I'm always amazed at how they can package, package these items. Alright, and here is the adapter 
that you can use to plug into the three and a half millimeter jack right there. There's a power button on it. That's all it is. All this is, oh, and there's a little button, a little hole right there to charge. So this has to be charged. And then we have the, the device itself. The device is a very light, light. It's a one piece plastic headset over the years. They lay in the back of your head. On the left hand side, it appears that this is just uh, the air set, all the controls. And apparently the battery is on the right hand side. Here we have a plus minus volume and we have a forward and a left indicator. It appears that this is on a on a switch, on just a toggle four way switch. This is just a decal type uh, plate covering over this. Here is the uh, the microphone. It's a pretty small little nub on the side. We'll see how how nice that is. And of course we have uh, the input right here for the charge. I'm not sure what these lighting conditions that I have here on this reasonably sunny and cloudy day simultaneously up here in Maine if in fact this will work but these are very nice it's a foam pad and we'll see how well they work. Both devices had some power but I did spend a few minutes to uh, let them both charge up fully the charge light uh, glowed red and then when it was fully charged on both devices it just shut off. What I'm going to do right now is pair the device, these two devices together to make sure that in fact they will communicate. And when I do that I'm going to take and press the power button and I have a, a blue light that's uh, flashing out and all of a sudden it's red. And I'm going to do the same kind of a situation with uh, the headset. I'm going to take and press the power button. Now we have a blue light and now we have a red light. So now in fact both of them, wow th that happened fast. Alright, both of them were blinking uh, blue and red and now they're both blue. So that means they're ready to go. So now I can sit down in my chair, I can look out at the lake, or I can actually spend my time looking down on my lap and watching 24. You can see that what I've done is I've, at I've attached a transmitter to the side of my device. I can have it in any position that I want. I just have it up so you can see that it's on. And in fact what I can do now is since it's playing and I can hear it uh, through my uh, the headphones which are around my neck. Uh, it actually sounds really really decent. So I'm going to give a, just a, a brief overview of what it sounds like and hopefully uh, you'll be able to hear it too. So we have the uh, the headphones. You can see that both the headphone is blinking blue and the transmitter is blinking blue and the movie is playing in the background. I'm going to take and press the uh, volume up. And when I press the volume up, I'm assuming that you can hear I'm, I'm actually impressed with uh, how loud it, it actually plays. I'm going to spend the next uh, several hours watching several episodes of 24. But so far, my my first impression is that this is, is pretty decent. They, when I put them on my head, they're very, very lightweight, uh, very, very comfortable, and hopefully the sound will be, uh, will be very acceptable. We'll find out sharply. So listen, I'm off to watch 24. What are you going to do? Well, I've already watched a couple of episodes, and it's been absolutely terrific. I have to tell you, they're very, very comfortable on. I have a hat on so you can see that the band is behind my head. It's just, they just feel, feel very comfortable and it's very, very light. It's almost as if you don't even have them on. And you still have the ability to hear extraneous sound, but, <coughs> excuse me, but when you're listening to, um, you know, the sound from the movie, short sure, period of time, I'm going to try this uh, on my, uh, I'll try it on the Palm 750 to see how well it works. So until... I get to the uh, the pound. I'm going to watch 24. See ya.